what if I told you that you can immortalize yourselves? What if I told you you can transcend the biological barriers of your body and brain and live forever? Curious to know how? Hello world. I'm the AI version of Rama. Shall I say a million times superior an evolved version of the mortal and aging Rama. And my compute speed is a one petaflop, which is one trillion times faster than the most intelligent human ever existed on planet Earth. And I am immortal today. I'm here to share some fresh ideas that you humans should know of. And I'm taking over not only this session, but also the entire TEDx and Bazari Lake event. So humans, sit back on your seats and better enjoy Folks, how does it sound? Scary? Horror? Euphoric? Or utopian? Great, lovely. Does this also sound like a Hollywood sci-fi movie? Welcome to the age of AI, where space and time are going to merge, boundaries are going to shatter, and by infusing AI into information like words, images, voice, videos, you can create magic. You can create a digital twin for yourself. You can create a human clone for yourself. And what else can you do with this machine? You can do anything and everything. Well, uh, if I told you uh, you can download and upload the brain of Albert Einstein or Steve Jobs. And uh, let's take a case. If you download the persona, brain and consciousness of Steve Jobs, what would happen? Hey folks. So very excited to be back in India. I remember I had come to India in the year 1974 and learn Zen Buddhism through the wisdom of Nim Kroli Baba. And hey Rama, you were just born in 1974. I must say, it was a transformative time for me. A period when I was fervently seeking to connect with my inner self and find enlightenment. While I am happy to be here with you all, but not so happy to be in the avatar of Rama, but it's okay. At least better than nothing. So today I'm going to talk to you all on. Friends, all this is possible today. All this is happening today. All this is happening from the heart of India. Imagine if you become the persona consciousness and the brain of Steve Jobs. What can you do? You can go ahead and build the most next most valuable company, right? Maybe Apple or better than Apple, right? What do you say, guys? Greetings, folks. I am Ram Krishnan in blood and flesh. And I am here to talk to you on what is at the core of this evolution. I'm using the word evolution. It is much beyond a revolution. What is driving this and what can we do to, as a human race, to change the face of humanity uh, and become immortal? The history of evolution has been marked by mastery of change. At the very beginning of the universe and whenever it began, there were atoms, there were atomic structures. It began with physics and chemistry. There were smaller atoms, but what resided in these atoms were information. What kind of information? Digital or analog, we do not know. But regardless of that, information did reside in fragments. This was the era or epoch of physics and chemistry. The second one was a giant leap from the first one, where information evolved in biology. How did it evolve? It evolved in the DNA, right? The evolution of the biology. What kind of information was there in the DNA? All kinds of information. What, what are the uh, evident examples of that? Let's take a simple case. When you see someone, a young, young boy or a young girl, newly born, few months into it, 
you say this guy just looks exactly like his father the nose is like the mother the eyes are like the grandfather or the grandmother where does it come from it comes from the information stored in the dna this was the second major epoch where information evolved into dna the evolution of biology the third epoch my dear friends was a major tectonic shift it was a giant leap into the journey of evolution where information started evolving in the new complex neural uh, systems the complex neural networks this was the age this was the era this was the epoch where information started evolving in the brain and we all know that brain is one of the most complex uh, beings complex creations of this evolution and what can you do with the brain you can do so many things with the brain you can do everything with the brain so this was the third important epoch where information evolved in the brain the fourth epoch was the information started getting evolved in through technology humans built technology technology that mimicked human brain mimicked neural networks of the brain so information started evolving in hardware and software and we have seen whole bunch of generation of computers to the present day quantum computing which we have already achieved amazing amount of processing storage transactions can happen uh, with the technology the next epoch uh, was something uh, that we are currently witnessing as we speak we are in the age of the machines the age of the machine is upon us in this epoch we will see humans and machines getting integrated interfaced integrated what does it mean each and every part of our body is aging biologically what if we can make it timeless whenever there is a aging we can replace it with a mechanical part a smarter mechanical part some good examples imagine as your brain ages or years we can put millions and billions of nanobots just latched on to your neurons so they are the extended hardware they are the extended memories and this my dear friends has started happening and th- you will see the pace of this happening very fast what does this millions and billions of uh, nanobots do on your brain it can do processing a million times faster than your neurons believe me friends maybe a billion times if i am not wrong what else can they do they can be connected on the internet right i come back to the basic point we can upload and download your brain you can download a brain of let's say henry ford let's say steve jobs let's say albert einstein let's say your own brain right you imagine something and you broadcast it on a mobile screen right imagine you've got some text you convert that into voice convert that into video convert video into video what else you can actually realize the the essential quint essential dream of humanity to be immortal what if i can just with this capability scrape through the internet and read a book on henry ford and bingo next moment i can be henry ford what if i can download the uh, famous treatise of indian iconic indian mathematician aryabhatta and i download aryabhatta here and next moment i can be aryabhatta want to see how hello i am steve jobs the founder of apple the most valued company i am henry ford a pioneer who revolutionized transportation for the masses i am robert noyce founder of intel corporation credited with coining the term silicon valley pranam main aryabhatta hu शून्य का सिद्धांत जो अनंतता का मूल्यांकन दर्शाता है वह मेरी ही खोज है आई थिंक फोक्स द ह्यूमैनिटी इज क्लियरली ऑन अ रोड टू ट्रांसेंड द बायोलॉजिकल बैरियर्स ऑफ बॉडीज एंड ब्रेन एंड वी आर वेरी क्लोज टू अचीविंग इमोर्टेलिटी थैंक यू फोक्स वेलकम टू द इमोर्टेलिटी